Hey guys, I'm back in the last part in Lux Out Ren's level 11 weapon, the Kai. And now, we're going to go unlock Zanji's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 7 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're going for Zanji's, we have to go to her Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6 mod like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so we'll move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Dark Moon Flute at level 10, the items, uh, part of me wants to switch out the Wind Scroll and replace it with the Master of Musu, but I'm going to leave it like this, I should be good. I can't have any bodyguards, so I'll move on, actually that pretty much covers it, so Let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the level, well, in order to obtain the S rank and unlock Zenji's level 11 weapon, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general and officer in the stage and achieve a 150 KO count. So, pretty straightforward. I believe it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong on this, but. I will be doing this under Sal P's forces because I've gotten the level 10 weapon under Yuan Shi's forces. So, and I said I'll do this. Anyways, in order to defect, all you have to do is uh, enter the camp and you'll be set. Now we're going to go into that. Right. So. The one thing you gotta look out for here are these elite guards. Holy shit, they are fucking strong on expert mode. So be careful with that, and if I were you, try to take advantage of that purple orb. That way you can one shot them. But, um, yeah, be careful. You know which ones they are because they'll have the yellow aura around them. Anyways, we'll go for Shin Ping first since he's right here. Uh, yep, since he's right here. Yeah, that kind of uh, startled me a little bit, but there will be uh, elite guards nearby. Also, if you fail to def if you fail to defeat a enemy officer or general, I'm gonna say officer. If you get an additional 50 KOs on top of that 150, you'll get the weapon. So uh, just keep that in mind. Thank god the elite guards can't block up like a fucking fortress, but as you can see, they're strong as fuck. They'll block like normal, but... Yeah, that's what you gotta do to those elite guards. Uh... Let's see here. I just saw a Guo too. That was not supposed to happen. And since we're trapped inside, I don't have to worry about uh, much when it comes to uh, allies taking my KOs. So, right now we defeated Guo 2 and Xin Ping. I can go for Yuan Tan right now if I really want to. Then we have Xin Pei, Feng Ji, and Yuan uh, Yuan Shang, that. Yeah, so we'll go for Yuan Tan now. There we go. Also note, those elite guards, I believe those are the, uh, quote-unquote, the assassins. Be careful, and, uh, when you do defeat them, they will drop either health or healing ointment, make sure you grab those, so I'm just saying, anyways, we'll continue to rack up the KOs since there's no real time limit for this weapon. Alright, 
I see Feng G right there. There we go. Not that I needed any health. Yeah, let's uh, perform a Musu attack. Alright, that's 50 down. Got another 100 to go. That would have finished him off. Alright, Fung G is down. Who is that? Shenpei. Alright, cool. Alright, Shenpei is almost down. Alright, he's down. Now, you want Shang. And my KOs are almost at 100, so that helps too. There is one of those uh, buffed up elite guards, so I gotta be careful. If I could single him out and uh, use a Whirlpool combo on him, then I don't have to worry about him as much. But there is one in here, well, there is definitely one in here somewhere. I'll grab the health. There he is. But uh, I'll take out you. Never mind. He got health back. That helps, kind of. That really helps. Alright, you want Shang is down. So we got everybody. Now all I gotta do now is get the 150 KOs. Yeah, that didn't help. Yeah, let's do that. So we got 18 more KOs. I should be good with the 18. I still gotta look out for those buffed up elite guards. There we go. Yeah, if you hit those elite guards just right, as you saw, you will be able to one-shot them. But, and as you can see, that one charge attack does a lot of fucking damage. Like I said, I believe those elite guards are those quote-unquote assassins. So, uh, just be careful. Anyways, so now we'll go for, well, we can't really go for Yuan Shi just yet. I think that's another elite guard. There he is. Alright, that elite guard is almost down, and I might just go for you on she after this. Yep, let's do it. I have a battle axe, I have full musu. Might as well give it a shot. He's almost down. Alright, that'll finish him off.
forth, you shall never leave my side again. And that's a win. All right, that's another one down. That was actually one of the smoothest level 11 weapons I've gotten so far in a long time. I believe the last smoothest one. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the last smoothest uh, level 11 weapon. Maybe Liu Bei's? Uh, or Zhao Yun's. No, Zhou Tai's was definitely smooth, pretty basic. Um, well, when it comes to my, uh, strategy. But, uh, anyways. So, the KO count is 164. We defeated everybody in the stage under Yuan Shi's forces. The clear time is 8 minutes. Pretty much almost 8 minutes on the dot. Uh, and our point total is 8,194 points. Not that that matters, because the, uh, points and the rank are at max. As you can see. And here's the weapon. The level 11 weapon. The Twilight Flute. And just like any other level 11 weapon. The attack power is at plus 60. And for the items that are equipped to it. Are. Well the four are. Bleh, the uh, Dragon Amulet. Which increases your Musu Gauge. That's at level 18. The Namon Armor. Additional bow defense, level 10. The horn helm, mounted attack at level 13. And the seven star sash, which is luck, at level 20. And uh, that's the weapon there. In order to get it, once again, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general and officer in the stage. And get 150 KOs. If you fail to defeat a enemy officer, I believe it's just officers, you may or may not be able to get away with it with generals, but if you fail to defeat a enemy officer, all you have to do is get an additional 50 KOs and you'll be set. But uh, I would strongly suggest to you to defeat everybody, every enemy general, and every enemy officer. Also note, I will bring it up again here, I might be wrong when I say this, but you might have to do this under South Peace forces. I was going to do it no matter what because uh, I got the level 10 weapon under Yuan Shi's forces. So I'm going to get the level 11 weapon under South Peace forces. So, I mean, there's no real difference when it comes to the actual sides, but I'm going into too detailed about the stage right now. Well, I'll say this quick, I guess. Um, if you're under Yuan Shi's forces, you're going to have more enemy generals to deal with. If you're under South Peace forces, you're going to have more enemy officers to deal with. But that's entirely up to you. And also, under South Peace forces, you will have those uh, buffed up elite guards. Yeah, forgot about those. Anyways, so uh, yeah. The grade, obviously we got S. It's just a matter of how many points. We got 90 points out of the 100. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go unlock another level 11 weapon. And the next level 11 weapon we're going to get is Wang Zhang's. So, peace out.